Name calling is never nice. But call me Mac and I'll follow you anywhere. Right to Mac 93.1 and 94.7 FM. What's better than a gift of cold hard cash? Why, a MasterCard gift card from Citizens Bank in Tipton, of course. Your loved ones can use MasterCard gift card from Citizens Bank anywhere they shop, and they make great stocking stuffers. While you're in picking up your gift cards, why not ask about a home or business loan with an interest rate so low, you'll think it's a gift. Visit the friendliest bank in town this holiday season. Citizens Bank at 427 Cedar Street in Tipton. A proud sponsor of Tipton's Old Fashioned Christmas and Tour of Lights on December 8th. This year, make T&M Clothing in Tipton your destination for great holiday gifts for your loved ones. Just in time for Christmas, T&M Clothing has slashed prices 25% on all men's, women's, and children's fall and winter clothing by Columbia. If you're looking for something more personal, check out T&M's great selection of sports apparel and cool personalized holiday ornaments. With extended Sunday shopping hours beginning December 9th and free gift wrapping, T&M Clothing makes your holiday shopping a breeze. T&M Clothing, 407 Cedar Street in Tipton. A proud sponsor of Tipton's Old Fashioned Christmas and Tour of Life. If you're buying or selling a home or business, you need the assistance of an experienced real estate professional. And that's exactly what you will find at Pearl City, Iowa Realty. For over 50 years, Iowa Realty has worked with buyers and sellers of homes and commercial real estate in Iowa. And Pearl City, Iowa Realty carries forth that tradition of excellence here in Muscatine. Check out Iowa's premier real estate website at muscatineiowarealty.com. Then call Pearl City, Iowa Realty for the personalized service you would expect from Iowa's real estate leader. Pearl City, Iowa Realty. 222 West 2nd Street in Muscatine. Saturday, December 8th brings you the Tipton Old Fashioned Christmas and Tour of Lights. It kicks off at 10 a.m. with the Christmas Craft Show and continues through the afternoon and evening with caroling, horse-drawn Tour of Lights, a live nativity scene, community soup supper, Santa will arrive downtown at 5 o'clock, and that's just a few of the holiday happenings. Join us Saturday, December 8th at Tipton's Old Fashioned Christmas and Tour of Lights. Mac 93.1's broadcast of the Tipton Old Fashioned Christmas and Tour of Lights is brought to you by the Tipton Chamber of Commerce, City Hall Smokehouse and Saloon, Absolute Computer Services, and Tipton Electric Motors. And speaking of the Tipton Tour of Lights, we are going to head out there right now where Rick Watts is out there. Hi, Rick. Hey, Nick. We are out here at the Tipton Old Fashioned Christmas and Tour of Lights. The uh, horse-drawn trolley just pulled up and... Uh, Ron's dogs tried to attack the horses, so they were escorted away. Oh, and I see Santa Claus up the street, too. Have a look, Abby. There he is. And he's kind of surrounded. It looks like he's kind of being mobbed by young children. It looks like he's got some candy or something. I think he does. Aw. Very nice-looking Santa down there. It is. And also with us, we have Greg Brown. Greg, now, I, I don't know what you're... Are you the director? Or are you the... Uh, the, what, what is your office with the Hardacre Theater Preservation Association? I am the president of the board of directors. Okay, now this is an exciting project. In fact, right now we're basking in the lights of the Hardacre Marquee here in Tipton. We but are. Uh, It's a historic theater. It's a beautiful theater. And uh, as I understand it, the Preservation Association um, has entered into a contract for the purchase of that, the building. That's correct. And... Uh, Obviously, you've got a lot of things you're going to have to do to get this uh, jewel polished back up again. Yeah, we do. We have a ton of work we have to do yet. Um, we don't take possession until October 1st of next year. Okay. Uh, that'll give us enough time to raise the money for the purchase price of the building and also to raise some funds so we can operate the building um, for the first year. Sure. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do. The building, uh, like you said, 1916 was when it was originally built as an opera house, uh -huh. and it's been continuously showing movies since 1920 first started with some silent films now there was kind of some uh, I guess changes in the way that movies are distributed that actually kind of brought all of this to a head as I understand it right uh, I think I, maybe there's been an extension or a moratorium that gave everybody a little more time but as I understand essentially what's happening is they're no longer going to distribute film on celluloid anymore it's that's, all digital that's correct yeah everything's going to go to digital and in order to upgrade the equipment for the theater here uh, it's going to cost us around $100,000 to $125,000 just to get the digital equipment uh, in place so we can continue to show movies. So not only do you have the cost of the building, you've got the cost of the digital conversion, the cost of the renovations. Um, you've got a... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm trying to come up with the word. It, it, it's, a, it's a large, large task ahead of you. Oh. And uh, uh, has the fundraising started? Uh, actually, the word I think I use is monumental. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the fundraising, uh, actually, we just had a day-long board of directors meeting today. And that was one of the topics of discussion was how to kick off the fundraising. So we, we do have a website now. It's www.theheartacre.org. And on our website, you can um, get more information about our project. You can also uh, donate through PayPal or, or figure out who to contact to send a check. Now, uh, there's also a film festival here every year in Tipton. Uh, it usually happens, I believe, in August. Is that right, Abby? First weekend in August. Okay. Sponsored uh, by the Tipton Chamber of Commerce and the film festival. And uh, it in, in and of itself is an event. It usually lasts... It's two or three days. It's over the course of a right, long weekend. Right, the first weekend. weekend in August. It's actually the longest-running film festival in Iowa. Okay. And like I said, it's I, there's a poster inside, I think, that's actually signed by Billy Bob Thornton from... I think it was this, I think it's a Sling Blade poster, I think. Isn't there? You don't re, You don't know? <laughs> I think. <laughs> now, come on. I know. I know. There's one signed by Tom Hanks. Is also yes, in there, yes, isn't there? Yes. Okay. Well, now we're gonna have to go. You know, maybe I dreamed that. Now I'm gonna have to go in and verify it for sure. But, but it is really a beautiful building, and there's a concert going on tonight. That's uh, like I said. I saw it ahead of time. I haven't been able to sneak in and listen yet. But it looked like the way it was set up. It's going to be a very, very nice production. So. Uh, but we're kind of swarmed with people here. I think they're waiting to get on the trolley. Um, what else do you want people to know about the Hardacre Project? Uh, just keep us in mind. Like I said, we're going to be kicking, formally kicking off our uh, fundraising efforts here very shortly. And uh, the website is up and running. And all the information about our project and about the theater is on there uh, if people are interested in taking a look. Why don't you go ahead and remind everybody one more time of the website. The website is uh, www.theheartacre.org. Now, just one more question. I mean, how long have you got before you're no longer going to be able to show films with the projection equipment that you've got? I don't think that date has ever really been nailed down. It's, okay. it's, it's moved several times. Uh, the last I had heard was going to be probably spring of next year. Okay. So you've got some time. We've got a couple months, yeah. It's funny how those deadlines get thrown out there, maybe by yeah. equipment manufacturers that would like you to buy something. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. Well, thank you very much, Greg Brown. Uh, we're going to be following this project, and like you said, it is a, it's a momentous task, I think. So uh, good luck to you. <laughs> thank good you Good luck very to much, you, Rick. and bless you, because uh, this really is kind of... The theater, I think, has been kind of a centerpiece of Tipton, and we'd like to see it continue that way. Yeah, thank you very much. You bet. Uh, once again, Rick Watts out here at the Tipton Old Fashioned Christmas and Tour of Lights. Uh, the crowd is gathered out here. I think they're waiting for the next trolley to pull up so they can uh, take a ride around town. It's drawn by horses, and you can check out all the beautiful Christmas lights. Uh, the merchants downtown are open this evening. All kinds of vendors out on the street. There's cocoa, there's cider, there's popcorn. Uh, we've got a soup supper going on. Live Victorian Christmas cards in the windows of some of the downtown businesses. Um, just really too much to mention in one breath here, Nick. So uh, I do want to thank our sponsors one more time, without whom this uh, broadcast would not be possible. Uh, and they include the Tipton Chamber of Commerce, City Hall Smokehouse and Saloon, Daisies on the Square, Citizens Bank of Tipton, Absolute Services Company, Eastern Iowa Trailers, Tiffany's Tipton Bakery, T&M Clothing, Keller's Home Furnishings, Family Foods of Tipton, Tipton Electric Motors, and Pearl City, Iowa Realty. We're going to be here through about the 7 o'clock hour, but for right now, Nick, we're going to take it back to you. Thank you.